Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here, and today I'm going to show you how to really make your eyes stand out, really make them pop and vivid. So to do so is really easy and simple. All we're going to do is make a quick selection of the eyes. So we're going to just zoom in now. So let's zoom in. And we're going to go use the pen tool for this. Now I will suggest if you have a low resolution image, it won't turn out as good as this. High resolution images turn out a lot better because you can really pick all the detail in the eye. So we're just going to go quickly round and make a quick selection with the pen tool. And don't worry if the selection is bigger than the actual eye itself because we can sort that out later and we are going to feather it and smooth it out anyway so it is going to contract so we just quickly make a selection there we go and then we're just going to go and do the same to the other eye now if you do use the pen tool you will get a perfect selection with this just click and drag out to bend the line around the eye if you don't know how to use the pen tool you can go over to my other tutorial which shows you how to use the pen tool so around about there and then we're going to go and right click now and go to make selection we want to feather this by three depending if you have a high resolution image if you don't have a high resolution res image I will suggest going for a feather radius of one pixel but if you do have a higher res image then go for free click OK and as you see it has feathered it and contracted it the next thing we're going to do is go up to select modify and go to um, smooth and it's going to be exactly the same as we did with the feather so if you have a high res image go for 5 for the radius of this one and if you have a low resolution go for around about 1 or 2 click OK and all we're going to do from here is we're going to go and add a few adjustment layers so bottom right hand side you'll see a little circle that is black and white click that and then go to hue and saturation now I'm just going to go and click this on and this is what you want for your hue and saturation now what I've done has clicked colorize now you might not need to click colorize I will suggest trying something else first of all don't click colorize make sure that's checked off and bring the hue all the way up to the top and bring the saturation to around about 40 now if the colors do not change in the eye that means that the eye color won't actually go with this so you do need to do it this other way next so if the color doesn't not change all we're going to do is click colorize on bring the hue to 226 and bring the saturation to 35 and the lightness to minus 10 and then we're just going to go and click off and we're just going to zoom out now and as you can see you've got this really vivid deep blue color now you can have any color that you wish but I would suggest going for blue just to see how it stands the next thing is we're going to go and add another adjustment layer bottom right hand side and go to levels so let's bring up levels and all we're going to do is bring the black slider in just a tad to around about 28 and we're going to bring in the white slider to 211 and that should be just fine now what this does is makes a lovely dark edge to the eye and brightens up the eye in the middle for the white slider so we're just going to go and hide that now the next thing to do is zoom in and we're going to go and brighten the eye up now so new blank layer bottom right hand side and we're going to go and change the blending mode to overlay for this make sure you have white as your foreground color and all we're going to do is go for a really soft brush to so go to your brush tool left hand side soft brush zoom in and we want to make the brush size just bigger than the actual pupil so, and then click and then do the other eye and what it does is really brightens it up but it has made the pupil a bit too bright so we're just going to go and make the brush size just so it's the same size as the pupil and then we're going to go and change our foreground color to black and then click again and that darkens up the pupil so the next thing to do 
So we're just going to zoom out. And we're going to go and select white as our foreground color. We're going to go for a soft brush, so keep the brush. And we're going to go make a new blank layer, bottom right hand side. And we're just going to go zoom in. And we're just going to go and make the brush a tad small for this. And we're just going to go and put a dot right next to the pupil. So around about there and there. Now what this does is it brightens it up and makes a shine to the eye. So if I zoom out and Control and D to deselect or Command and D if you have a Mac. And there we have it. That is what it looks like. It's brightened the eye up and it's made it more vivid. So I'm just going to go and show you before and after. So before and then after, before and after. As you can see, it has changed it a lot and it has made it stand out a lot more. So go and have fun with this. Go and change it up and see what you can create. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now.